Ask Reddit by Forbes. So, what person do you think could easily become the president of the United States if they decided to run for it? Whomever's keeping Arizona green tea at 99 cents despite inflation around the world. $1.50 Costco hot dog guy for Veep. I really think we should be single for a few years. We should be in therapy. I say we just hold a power ball once every four years. Everyone's name is in the pot once. We draw one name and that guy or gal is the next president of the USA. Perfectly random of course. Except these days it would be more like a scene from Hunger Games. No one wants their name pulled. I don't have a great answer here but I once saw somebody ask Condi Rice if she would ever run for president and she said, paraphrased, people are used to seeing me in a political role but not saying too many political things so they always project what they want me to think onto me. They see me hand flowers to a diplomat and amp, as long as I don't mess that up, they assume I'm exactly what they hope I am. If they are a conservative they presume I'd be pretty reliably conservative. If they are moderate, they presume I'd be very moderate. But the moment I declared for president, they'd start asking me things like what I think about abortion, and immediately a lot of the people who thought I should run would quickly find reasons to hate me they didn't know they had. Not advocating for ICE as president, obviously, but I think it was a good point, especially when you think of celebrity candidates like I'm seeing on this thread. In a lot of subtle ways we probably hope for the best politically on celebrities we like but the moment they have to start talking about issues we aren't used to seeing them talk about, a lot of the love would go out the window pretty quickly. The sad irony of leadership is that those most suited to holding it, the humble, considerate and introspective, are excluded by those very virtues. This is why we keep getting flash, superficial personalities in power. Why not Zoidberg? V. Deg. Deg. V. Whoop 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 whoop. Pedro. Edit. Wow. Thanks for all the upvotes, comments and awards. Pedro for president. He offers you his protection, after all. Mr. Rogers, if he was still alive and younger. Edit, spelling. Alive is critical sure, but younger? Doesn't need to be younger. The gang runs for president. What's the White House's spaghetti policy? Judging from recent history, three rats in a trench coat would claim victory. Provided they are at least 85 years old. Jim Leahy. I'm sober enough to know what I'm doing and drunk enough to really enjoy it would be a great campaign slogan. This is depressing as fuck guys. I'm still with the top vote. Diseased Badger 2024. The founder of Costco who threatened to kill an executive for proposing to raise the price of a hot dog. When asked by a reporter what it will mean if the price goes up, he responded that I'm dead. Jim Sinegal is no joke lol. Me but I choose not to do it. Original Pineapple 2024 let's fucking go baby. A Labrador. Mr. Peanut Butter? Kthalhu. Why choose the lesser evil? His No Lives Matter campaign slogan both appeals to, and terrifies, me. Phtan. The reanimated corpse of Theodore Roosevelt. It takes more than being dead for 100 years to kill a bull moose. Leroy Jenkins. We know he would lead from the front. Dwayne Elizondo Mountain Dew Herbert Camacho. Shit. I know shit's bad right now, with all that starving bullshit, and the dust storms, and we are running out of french fries and burrito coverings. Saul Goodman. Hi I'm Saul Goodman. Did you know you have rights? The constitution says you do, and so do I. 
somewhere out there in the world, is the smartest, most rational, unbiased, critical thinking, sane person on earth and his or her name will never come up on here because nobody knows who he or she is because they're not a celebrity. If you're out there and reading this you would have my vote. The thing is, the most rational, unbiased, intelligent person would never want the turmoil, or the clout, of being president. Imo, you have to have an immense amount of hubris to run for president, and more often than not, those who are willing to run have a borderline delusional inflated ego. So a rational, unbiased wise person would most likely never run. Nobody. No matter who you pick, 50% of the country is going to hate them on partisan principle alone could be the Christian embodiment of God themselves, and people would find a way to justify vitriol toward them. Closer to 25%. We all never give enough weight to the non-voters, who don't actually think the outcomes of elections affect them enough to bother. Can anyone point me to an answer with somebody competent and qualified to run even a small country? That's not the question though. That one guy's dead wife. I often wonder what she would have thought about becoming famous for wanting to be fucked by thousands of strangers, but only after she was dead. Nixon always wins. Irrohoho. Computers may be twice as fast as they were in 1973, but your average voter is as drunk and stupid as ever. Dolly Parton. She could establish a new legal code to cut through all the bureaucratic red tape. It would be a code of many cutters. Given the state of us politics at the moment, and my resultant view of the general population, a critically diseased badger with 75% of its brain removed. Eater. Wow, this blew up a bit. Think we know who the front runner in 2024 should be. Diseased badger you know what you'll get. Jokes on you, they removed the bad bits. The badger governed with honor, integrity, and, yes, a semblance of intelligence. It, celebrities reddit likes who would never win an election. The next comment down is literally Keanu Reeves or Mayo. My mate Trevor, everyone loves Trevor. President Trevor and Vice President Corey 2024 The subject of the song Short Skirt Long Jacket by Cake The Dad, How Do I Die? Dad How Do I Fix Democracy by Wednesday? 